Hello, welcome to day two of ITU Telecom World here in Geneva, in Switzerland. And this time I'm talking with Mr. Francis Gurry, who is the Director General of the World Intellectual Property Organization. Francis, welcome. First question, we've lived through 20 odd years of boom times in ICT. Certainly there was a bit of a glitch for the uh, telecommunications sector uh, a decade ago, but in the main it's been driving ahead very strongly. Times are changing now, some economies are, are, are fading, there's economic woes here and there, while other nations have been untouched. What do you think are the key challenges facing the ICT industry at this moment? Well, I'm going to take a, 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 an approach to this which, is, which relates to my territory, which is intellectual property, rather than the ITU's territory so much. But let me recall that Henry Thoreau said in the 19th century, uh, they're building a telegraph from Maine to Texas. But it may be that Maine and Texas have nothing to say to each other. So the important thing, we think, is content. All of this infrastructure, all of this boom, all of this which has been created, for what purpose has it been created? And of course, one of the principal reasons why it's been created is because it gives uh, access in a vastly different way and a vastly superior way to all of the content that's out there. So this is all of the cultural creations in our particular instance, in particular music, film, literature, uh, but also a lot of uh, very valuable social and civic and economic information and technological and scientific information. What are your expectations of a show like this now? And a codicil to the question is, and do you have a message, key message, that you would wish to send out to the delegates and the visitors here and people who watch this interview? Well, I think it's much more focused now. And that's a good thing. Before it was all of the possibilities of whatever might be happening and now we understand, I think, a little better what is happening. And I think that would be my key message. Here is an opportunity to view through a window, a window what is happening techno technologically in the world. What do we have to do in our social and legal systems to adjust to that new technological reality which is either with us or it's coming very quickly. How do you think the ICT industry can help the world develop economically and socially? Well, I would come back to content uh, again uh, because it enables access, as I said, in a, in a, it's the democratization of knowledge which is enabled by uh, the ICT developments. So what's that mean? I think it means, first of all, <clears throat> literacy and education. This is, is a great opportunity for advancing literacy, literacy and in education in ways in which was simply not possible previously. Then secondly, it means what is possible in the professional sphere. And we know that all of the enterprises of the world now and all the businesses of the world are in some way or another using ICT. And broadband offers you know, enhanced possibilities for those business platforms throughout the world. Then I think thirdly, socially, we are able to connect socially in ways that were simply not possible previously. So we're all chattering away there uh, through ICT across the world. There is a global conversation going on which was not going on previously. And then finally, culturally, the possibilities for enhancing you know, our leisure time uh, and enhancing the richness of our understanding of the world and our appreciation of the fundamental questions of life and death and love, uh, which is given to us by art and culture, is greatly enhanced because we have all of that able to at our, at our fingertips now. What role, Francis, do you think broadband can play in providing universal and equitable access to information and knowledge globally? Well, for me, it's, it's, it's uh, easy access and enhanced quality of what you access, those two things. Can you name one thing that you think needs to happen for us to get closer to the goal of giving more global citizens more meaningful access to connected technology? Evolution. Uh, that is to say that we need the legal and the administrative and governmental systems to evolve to meet the evolution that has occurred in technology and economic behaviour. Technology and economic behaviour are global. People use mobiles everywhere. It's global. But what we need to do is to create the legal conditions and the uh, administrative conditions that meet 
that evolve to meet those global uses. Francis Gurry, thank you.